Virginia, April 11th, 1863. My dear mother and sister, it is very late at night and I am riding in my room, which is not quite as large or as nice as the one I had at home. My board, washing, and lodging cost me $75 a month. I have just received your letter, Ma, from Carson, the one in which you doubt my veracity about the statements I made in a letter to you. That's right. I don't recollect what the statements were, but I suppose they were mining statistics. I have just finished writing up my report for the morning paper and giving the unreliable a column of advice about how to conduct himself in church. And now I will tell you a few more lies while my hand is in. For instance, some of the boys made me a present of 50 feet in the East India G and SM Company 10 days ago. I was offered $95 a foot for it yesterday in gold. I refused it. Not because I think the claim is worth a cent, for I don't, but because I had a curiosity to see how high it would go before people find out how worthless it is. Besides, what if one mining claim does fool me? I've got plenty more. I am not in a particular hurry to get rich. I suppose I couldn't well help getting rich here sometime or other, whether I wanted to or not. You folks do not believe in Nevada, and I'm glad you don't. Just keep on thinking so. I was at the Gould and Curry mine the other day, and they had two or three tons of choice rock piled up which was valued at $20,000 a ton. I gathered up a hat full of chunks on account of their beauty as specimens. They don't let everybody supply themselves so liberally. I send Mr. Moffat a little specimen of it for his cabinet. If you don't know what the white stuff on it is, I must inform you that it is pure silver than the minted coin. There is about as much gold in it as there is silver, but it is not visible. I will explain to you some day how to detect it. Pamelia, you wouldn't do for a local reporter because you don't appreciate the interest that attaches to names. An item is of no use unless it speaks of some person, and not then unless that person's name is distinctly mentioned. The most interesting letter one can write to an absent friend is one that treats of persons he has been acquainted with rather than the public events of the day. Now you speak of a young lady who wrote to Holly Benson that she had seen me, and you didn't mention her name. It was just a mere chance that I ever guessed who she was. But I did finally, though I don't remember her name now. I was introduced to her in San Francisco by Honorable A.B. Paul and saw her afterwards in Gold Hill. They were a very pleasant lot of girls, she and her sisters. P.S. I have just heard five pistol shots down the street. As such things are in my line, I will go and see about it. P.S. Number two. 5 a.m. The pistol did its work well. One man, a Jackson County Missourian, shot two of my friends, police officers, through the heart. Both died within three minutes. Murderer's name is John Campbell.